Hi everybody, so I'm going to do a quick video on how I do Zane's immunoglobulin infusion. Um, just because last weekend at the OMS conference, I think a lot of people had questions about it. Um, maybe wanted to try it or, um, anyway, so I'm just going to give you a visual of what that really means. So what I do is, um, Zane has a G-tube, so this is real easy for me, but, um, I always start with Benadryl. That would be Dave cooking. So, <laughs> anyways, just kidding. So, um, I always start with Benadryl and Tylenol. Very first thing. For Zane, I just put it in his G-tube. Most of you don't have that luxury. Okay, what that? And then, so yeah, I start by giving him these meds. <laughs> and I flush it with some water. And that just, you know, so that in case he starts becoming allergic or has any sort of reaction, it just seems to keep him in check and it's been working, so I'm just, I keep doing it. Um, for me, I start his food right away. Um, I put him in the nap nanny in front of the TV so he's nice and comfortable. Um, and can we laugh? What are we aiming at? A vein. Alright, so then I get his food going. Then, I have a whole bunch of stuff over here. Are you aiming at the floor? or? I'm aiming so, at the stuff. I end up sanitizing my hands several times throughout the process just to make sure everything is really clean. Um, so, sanitizer. Um, Every, all of his supplies come delivered to, directly to our house. Um, every month I just call and I tell them what I need and they drop it off. So it's real easy. Uh, I have to use a non-porous surface. Like I just use this plastic box as my table. Um, I usually set it up in the dining room and then I walk over with it like a tray. But you can't put it on wood or fabrics like the couch or the table. It has to be like metal or plastic. So I try to very touch it very little. Um, this is actually sterile when it first comes out of the package. But after my touching it without gloves and stuff, it's more like clean. So I just keep it clean as possible. Um, so for me, I don't need gloves. To me, it's a little bit weird because I'm a surgical, surgical tech. Uh, I have a surgical tech degree, so it feels weird. But this isn't surgery. This is just infusions, like nurses do. They do give you gloves. I never use them. Um, so then you just get out all your supplies. Are you aiming at the floor? I'm aiming at the stuff. So, 20 milliliter syringe for Zane because he has a, works for what his dose is. This is it. Which I attach, Caitlin, this video better not be all over the place because I only get to do this one time. I always get the tape kind of ready and I just stick it to my tray. This is our um, infusion pump. It looks really ghetto and uh, <laughs> probably just made it even more ghetto by throwing it. Um, anyway, so it works. So whatever, you might hopefully get something a little nicer. We have to use a little <laughs> a paper clip to adjust the uh, settings, but they'll tell you what settings they need to be at. We start slower, and then after an hour, I stop it and increase the setting. Um, I have to take the battery out every time because we have just this ghetto one like that. But I just kind of get it set up. Of course, it's your person, your um, health nurse person that comes over, pharmacy person would show you how to use your specific machine, which I'm sure would be different. Okay, so still setting up. So I get all of my supplies out. I always keep them all in a plastic bag just to um, keep out any sort of, you know, just to keep out any germs and stuff, keep it as clean as possible while we're not doing these. We do all, so what we do is we do them once a week. Um, we do three weeks in a row on and then he gets one week where he doesn't have to, so one week off. 
Um, I do it on Sundays because it's more laid back. Mom, you need to go potty. Come on, Kayla. Weren't you just in there? Hey, do either of you want to take over Caitlin's job for me? I don't I'm know. not mom or the stuff. Here. Alright. She's got it on her head. Okay. Just aim at me or Zane or what I'm doing. Whatever. Okay? So then you get the actual medicine in a box. Don't have to refrigerate or anything. It's actually pretty nice. Um, it's very expensive, as you know. So there should not be should be very careful not to waste any. Um, I'm just pulling all the supplies out right now and I will be ready in a second. So on the box for the immunoglobulin, uh, we use this called Hyzentra and um, I checked the expiration date on it. They're really good at not sending me expired stuff though. I have yet to have one expired. So I set up a bunch of alcohol swabs just for cleaning surfaces. I don't know. Jacob, are you good or do you want Kayla to take over? Alright. It's not aim all over the ceiling. Alright, sorry about all this distraction. I don't know how to edit the video into parts, so we're just going to keep moving. Um, Miss Caitlin, okay, so, <laughs> so what I do, the first thing I do, so now you aim at my surface. Give me that. Okay. Alright, so I'll show you quick my setup. So I got my sterile field drape, kind of more like a clean field. I attach my tape because when I put it on him, he's wiggling. Um, I have to do that kind of quickly. I keep my sanitizer available. I have alcohol swabs. I have my um, immunoglobulin. I have an extension because this line is real short. A syringe. Um, this goes. This is the needle that goes into the um, blah blah this thing medicine. And this is the needle set that goes into him. The needles are very tiny, and it also comes with some tagaderm. All right, now, Caitlin and Caitlin take over again. All right, Caitlin, I need you to do that. Aim at saying no, and I aim at what I'm doing. Okay. Get so, it, let go. Are you aiming at what I'm doing? Yep. It just looks like you're aiming at the floor. Okay, so take it out of the box. I can't. I guess. Oh, my God. Here, move over here. And can you back up a lot? Yeah. Oops, that's going to go over you. Okay, still feel like I'm a you're aiming at the floor. Stop it, just put it in regular. Okay. Alright, so the joys of uh, trying to, hopefully, we have a good video here. Alright, so I pop the top off. That's, I just throw everything in a garbage pile. Check my expiration date again. Hold it up to the light, make sure it looks pretty clear and good inside. Take my alcohol swab. I swab the top surface. Then I take my... Transfer device, or it's like a plastic needle. I take the cap. Are you really laying at the floor now? Um, it's like a little plastic needle. It's not really even a needle, and I stick it in the top. Then I have to draw up the meds into the syringe. So I just keep pulling stuff out. So I go to 17. Zane's little, and he gets to 17. Twist it on. Push the air in and then tip it and very carefully and slowly put it in here. I'm kind of going fast. My music. Okay. 
going, 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 just about. No. All right, so I'm going to twist it off. Now, i got to tap the bubbles out. Looks pretty good. Alright, then I take my extension. Rolls on first. Which will be Then I take my needle set. This big never my opens. arms are tired. I don't care, just or I'm almost done. Okay. I hope this video is not aiming at the floor because I'll have to wait another week to do it. Alright, so first I set up my tegaderm so that I'm ready to grab. Jacob. Like this. Then I get my needle set. I'm going as fast as I can. <laughs> my arms. You're totally fine. I'm almost done. Okay. Like this. Like this, like this. You notice I don't touch anything once it touches the floor, or anything crazy like that. So now I just hold it up to the light, and I watch it very carefully go through the line. Dad, can you do me a favor? Can you just hold this until I'm done? Because Caitlin's over here, like, making tiny sounds. Mm -hmm. I'm almost done. Alright, now I'm going to figure out where I was at. I think it's fun. Alright, well you go until you get to the end. Then load it up to the machine. This one's mom's and this one's dad's. I made it for them. Guys, can you not argue right now, please? Andy, you want more? Take your plate in the kitchen. There's some more in the kitchen. Take your plate with you. on his legs. I sanitize her again. Then, it's okay Zany. I take some alcohol swabs. Okay, I just clean the spot I'm gonna go. Then I get the needle set out. There's a cut cap on it. The needle's super tiny. Probably not short. And it squeezes the leg. And I stick it in. Sorry, man. And the tape. And I move quickly because it's more anxiety than it is actual pain. And I reinforce it with tape because he tends to try to get it off. It goes something like that, and then I hide it under her pants so that he can't scrape at it or anything. Then I do the other side. So he gets two, you can do like two or four, it depends on what they end up giving you. Hold on, pumpkin. I gave him a bath before this, so I'm not too worried that he's touching that spot. Alrighty, so... And then you stick it. Okay, Bob. Good boy. I know, I know. No 
fun. Okay. Reinforce it with some tape. Great. And after after a while, it gets easier, but it's kind of like a you don't have enough hands kind of trick. Okay. Get them all cozy. And then you hit start. And then in an hour, I'll increase the rate to make it go faster, and that's it. I can press it off. <laughs> Where's the stop button? Oh.